PNG Kidney Foundation has been in operation since 2009, assisting kidney disease patients who come from all over the country. Their goodwill sponsors include the partnership of Kumul Petroleum for the last 13 years. Last month, Chairman Sir Martin Po decided to reveal his plan and vision for the PNGKF to start a medical center. He said there are some well-equipped laboratories around the country and a few specialist doctors, but they still need more. Sir Martin said in the director's last meeting, they decided to appoint Lady Emmeline as the ambassador to promote, educate, and create awareness of the kidney disease and on prevention on how to live on a healthy diet. So today's occasion is to officially appointment of the, this lady Emily as a PNG kidney ambassador to represent, uh, to, to, to promote our next month PNG kidney for the self-fundraising dinner and also the 13 years anniversary. Meanwhile, Lady Emily Dadai said, she is humbled by the faith that Sir Martin and PNG Kidney Foundation has in her. She accepted and said she is delighted to represent PNG Kidney Foundation as the ambassador towards the 13th anniversary fundraiser on the 25th of February 2023. I am especially delighted to lend my support to a cause that has been providing variable service for kidney patients especially kidney failure patients, to receive affordable hemodialysis treatment in the country. She said it is a common knowledge that kidney is a vital organ in the human anatomy that is responsible for flushing our waste in our bodies. Without the vital service of the kidney, the human body cannot function. The sad reality is that many of our people are suffering from kidney failure, some perhaps from birth and others, and increasingly so from lifestyle changes. She noted that many Papua New Guineans have had kidney failures and it needs the help of the community, especially business houses, to sustain its vital services. Frida Kana, TV One News.